Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to some Nub TV. So today, I am gonna cover how to rigid tap M8 holes in aluminum blind holes on a Tormach 1100 MX. I saw a question last week. I kind of struggled with the same thing before, and I got a little recipe figured out. Stay tuned. come up with you don't have to use this uh this is just my recipe i actually use gearing drills and taps because i have a local tool rep and he's the only guy that comes and visit me when i have problems drilling or stuff like that at my day job not here at nubworks but he's helped me out a ton and guess what i'll buy from him real simple there's other brands out there. I don't always go with Gearing, but when I can, I'll support him because he's helped me out. Anybody that's helped me out, got my love. So you go through the book, pick all kinds of things. My favorite is 732 or the 730 or shorter stubbies, 732 or jobbers. And they're just a carbide drill. Um, you can run on the shit out of these things. like. 3,000, 4,000 holes, no problem. There's no coating there. I don't sharpen them. I just spin the, I think that's probably a $22 drill bit or some shit. I can't remember, but I just get what I need. So uh, I'm actually feeding pretty light on this one. You'll see it here in a second. And then these are sized for form tapping. So this is a blind hole and form tapping is moving metal, not cutting. So there's no chips. And we're gonna feed that guy in there at 1200 RPMs. So stay tuned here for in a second and I will get that up and running and then we'll go over how I determined all of it. So how did I come up with the drill that I picked? I took the Goering cheat sheet I have, went to M8, 125. This column over here, form taps. And I ended up with, sorry about this, the letter L drill, which is really odd that I would have picked something that was 75%. Normally I like to be a little nicer at 745, you know, be at 65% and you'd be all right. So, you know, you flip that over, go see what letter L is. It's a 290 and uh, yeah. So I went to the Gearing catalog, picked my drill out of that 732 series I have the jobber because it's more versatile. I mean, you can go stubby if you're really trying to speed things up. And yeah, that's how I came about that. So use your charts, use your literature and stuff. Real simple. So here we are, gonna drill and tap this bad boy. You got the Goering 732 series, uh, 7.39 millimeter, whatever it is, 7,200 RPMs. I'm only feeding at 20. Uh, I think it can feed at 60, but there's no reason to. It's a little shallow hole and this thing makes a perfect little chip. I don't need to haul butt. So we'll drill these real quick and then I'll go over the tap speeds.
So here's the tap. 1200 RPMs, feeding at 59 inches a minute. That's what the math comes out to at 1200 for the M8 tap. Check it out. That's it. 1200 seems to be a nice ready on a nice recipe for a 75% thread engagement thread. Form tapping in aluminum on the 1100 MX. Thanks for checking the videos out. Please like and subscribe if you want more. Throw it in the comments if you uh, want any other tips for Tormach. I've figured out all kinds of stuff. So ask if you got any questions. Thanks for checking it out.